So IntelliJ IDEA IDE is one of the most popular IDE among developers for developing Java based programs and apps. So let's see how we can download IntelliJ IDEA. So in order to install IntelliJ IDEA, you need to have Java installed on your Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, we are going to check whether Java is already installed on our Windows operating system or not. For this, you can uh, just click on the search icon and then search for CMD and then just open the command prompt. And once command prompt opens, you can uh, type this command here, Java space hyphen version. Okay, and then press enter and if this command shows Java is not recognized as an internal or external command that means Java is most probably not installed on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's see how we can install it. So for that first of all open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK download and the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com forward slash java forward slash technologies forward slash download so just click on this link i'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also so you can directly come to this website and here you just need to scroll down at the time of making this video java 17 is the latest version which is available for download so when you scroll down, you will see the option to uh, download the Linux binaries or the Mac OS binaries or the Windows binaries, right? So we are going to select Windows from here and then we are going to select the exe option here. So just select the link which is in front of the installer option here. So click on this uh, link here. So just wait for the download to complete. And once this exe file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this exe file and let me minimize my browser. So first of all, you will see this kind of window which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this app, so I will click on yes. And now I can see the Java JDK installer has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So here you just need to click on the next button. And this will be the default location where Java will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. Just remember this location. So by default, it's installed in C, then program files, then it's going to create a Java directory in program files folder. And then there will be a JDK 17 folder or the name of the folder will be the version of JDK you are installing, right? So if you want to change this path, just uh, click on change and then uh, change the destination. Otherwise, if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next, which is going to start the installation of Java on your Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, you just need to wait for uh, this process to complete. And in few seconds, you can see the Java JDK has been installed on my Windows 11 operating system. So I'm going to close this window. That means Java is installed on my Windows 11 operating system. But still I have to do a few things. First of all, I'm going to just go to the location where Java is installed. So just uh, open your folder explorer and then go to the C directory. And then I'm going to go to the program files where Java folder is created. And then in my case, JDK 17.0.1. Uh, is created in your case this folder name version can be different so just go uh, to this folder right now in order to set the environment variable for java what you need to do you can just click on the search icon once again and then just type edit env here which is going to show you this result which says edit environment variable for your account and it's going to open this kind of window you can also open this edit environment variable using control panel. So you can search for uh, control panel and then just view by category here and then click on system and security, then click on system. And then once the system window opens, you can click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables, which is also going to show you the same window, right? So you can choose any method to open this uh, environment variable window and once this is open you need to click on the path environment variable under system variables and then click on edit 
and here you need to add the path to your JDK folder binaries. So go to the folder where we have installed Java until a JDK folder and then click on uh, bin folder. So we need to go inside the bin folder inside this JDK folder and then copy the path, right? So until bin and then copy this path from here, go to uh, the environment variable window once again and then you can double click here or you can click on new which is go also going to show you this option and then just paste this path until bin and then press enter which is going to add this path to your environment variables so click on ok so your java environment variable is set now some application also needs the java home environment variable on your windows operating system to uh, run them so let me show you how you can set the java home environment variable also so you can go at the top under user variable uh, section and then click on new here and then the variable name you need to provide here is java underscore home everything is capital just write whatever i have written here everything is in capital and the variable value will be the folder which we have opened which is uh, jdk folder so don't go inside the bin folder in this case just copy the path until jdk folder you don't need to go inside the bin folder in this case okay and then just paste this path under variable values okay so you can see there is no bin folder added here only the path until the jdk folder click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok which is going to set the environment variable for java on your windows 11 operating system now once you have installed java and set the environment variables you can use java on command line so you can uh, just open the command prompt by typing cmd once again and then i can type java space hyphen uh, version here and it's going to show me the version of java so you can see java version 17.0.1 is installed on my windows 11 operating system and then you can start installing the intellij idea ide so first of all open your favorite browser and search for uh, intellij idea and the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash idea i'm going to put this link in the description of this video also so just click on this link which is going to open this kind of window now straight away you will be able to see uh, this download button at the top and you will see this download button here in the middle of this website so you can click any one of these buttons and it's going to open this window now intellij idea have two different versions first one is the ultimate version which is the paid version and this version have more features than the community version but for the beginners and new developers or students the community version is enough uh, for developing many uh, java based applications so we are going to download the community version you can click on the download button here which, which is going to start the download of this idea.exe file so just wait for the download to complete so once this executable file is downloaded i'm going to click on this executable file and let me minimize my browser and first of all you will see this window which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i trust this uh, application so i will click on yes and it's going to start the intellij idea community edition setup so here i'm going to click on next so here this will be the default location where intellij idea ide will be installed on your windows 11 operating system so if you don't have the good reason to change this just leave it as default otherwise you can click on browse and choose the location and then click on next and here you can see uh, different installation options so first of all i can check this checkbox which is going to create the desktop shortcut also i can uh, check this context menu and update path variables so i'm going to check this checkbox and for this the restart will be needed you can see so you need to restart your uh, windows operating system in order to update the path variables 
and you can also create the associations. I leave everything as unchecked here because I can do it later also. I just want the desktop icon and the path variables and I'm going to click on next and here also click on install button which is going to uh, start the installation of IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So at this point you just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. You can also click on show details where you can see what steps are going on in the installation of your IntelliJ IDEA IDE. And once the IntelliJ IDEA IDE has been successfully installed, you will be able to see uh, this kind of window. Now because we have chosen some options which requires restart, you can reboot your operating system by selecting this uh, radio button and click on finish which is going to restart your Windows operating system. But for now I'm going to choose this one which says I want to manually reboot later which is not going to reboot my Windows operating system. But still I can start using IntelliJ IDEA IDE on my Windows 11 operating system. So as I mentioned the restart is recommended so I will recommend you to restart your Windows operating system and then you can start using IntelliJ IDEA. In my case I'm going to directly uh, just click on this icon which is going to launch IntelliJ IDEA and for the first time when you start IntelliJ IDEA IDE it's going to show you this license terms and conditions uh, window. You can read these license terms and conditions and if you agree click on this checkbox and then click on continue and then uh, there is this data sharing option and then on the next window you can see this data sharing window. I don't want to share any statistics with IntelliJ IDEA so I'm going to click on don't send which is going to start IntelliJ IDEA on my Windows 11 operating system. So now you can see IntelliJ IDEA IDE has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So at this point I can uh, create a new uh, project by clicking on the new project button. So let me just do that. So let me click on the new project button and then from here you can choose which project you want to create using IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So let's just create a very simple Java project. So I'm going to select Java here and then I'm going to select uh, Groovy from here. On the top you can see project SDK. So because I have already pre-installed Java JDK 17 on my Windows 11 operating system I can see this uh, 17 version. But if you haven't installed any version of Java previously, you can select download JDK which is going to uh, download the JDK for you and then it's going to select uh, that version automatically for you. But I will always recommend to download Java JDK manually on your Windows 11 operating system and as I said the link will be in the description if you don't know how to uh, install Java JDK. Once you are done, you can click on next here and then give the name to your project. I'm going to give the name hello to my project and this will be the location where all your uh, IntelliJ IDEA projects will be uh, saved. If you want to change this location you can click on this uh, browse button which is going to uh, allow you to change the location. Once you are done click on finish which is going to create this Java project for you. So now you can see this project has been created and IntelliJ IDEA always shows a tip of the day when you start IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So if you want to close this window you can directly click on close. Let me maximize this window here. Now uh, here you can see there is this new feature which says code with me. So if you want to invite others to your IDE you can uh, use this feature. Now once your project has been created you can create a Java class from here. So I can right click on the source folder and then uh, select new and then Java class and then uh, I'm going to name my class as uh, hello once again and then click on uh, class which is going to create this hello.java class for me. So now I can see under source this uh, hello.java class has been created for me and uh, now inside this class I can uh, create a public static void main method. So I can just write psvm here and then click on enter which is going to create the public static void main method for me. 
and then I can just write s out here and then press enter which is going to uh, just write system dot out dot print line. So this is a very good feature which helps you to write your code faster in IntelliJ IDEA, right? Inside the parenthesis, I'm going to just write hello world here and then I can run my program. So to run your program, you can right click here and then click on run hello dot main, right? So let me just click on this uh, run hello dot main. So this is going to build my uh, Java file first of all and then it's going to run my Java file. So you can see the output is printed here which says hello world. And once you run your Java program using the right click and uh, run uh, hello dot main file, you will see that some buttons will appear from the next time. So from the next time, you can build your program using this icon. You can run your program using this icon and you can debug your program using uh, this uh, bug icon, right? So from the next time, let's say I just add some more uh, text here. I can uh, build this program. And once this program is built, I can also run it. So once my uh, program is built, I can click on the run button, which is going to show me the output you can see here. Okay.